The Boston Celtics are the first team to reach the conference finals and in this case they've reached the East Finals. They cleared off the Cavs in five games and this game was actually quite interesting. You got to see Al Horford. Al Horford was that guy who carried this team. He's the second best scorer with behind his 22 points, 15 boards and he really really came up good in this game. And I must say the Boston Celtics have had one of the most interesting uh, playoff runs especially this season because at the first round they got matched up against the Miami Heat. So you can say the Miami Heat were shorthanded because Jimmy Butler was injured and they just cleared them off in five games. There was no stopping the Boston Celtics considering the fact that the Miami Heat have been a stumbling block for the Boston Celtics way back in you can see 2020 and 2023 just last year because last year the Celtics were in a similar position but they got beat by the Miami Heat. Um... You no, know, first of all, for me, um, you know, I have to give the the glory to the Lord. Um, uh, tonight was a special night, um, you know, for for our group because we had, you know, we had this chance to to close it out here at home. And um, you know, for for me, the biggest thing was uh, just bringing energy, bringing energy to our group. I felt like we lacked it in the first quarter. And um, when I came back in the second, I felt like uh, we needed to step it up. We were talking about it a lot in the huddle, but we weren't really getting it done. Um, and, um, you know, we, we have had a great opportunity here at home to handle this. And, um, and I knew it was going to take, you know, a lot more than, than just playing a normal game. We were just talking about you guys getting to the conference finals. And I was saying, quite frankly, I don't think anyone cares anymore about you guys doing that because everyone knows that you're you're capable of doing that do you feel like um the success that y'all have had has hurt you as far as mvp voting and things go and not getting over the hump do you think they're penalizing you for that oh man uh it's a lot of things i wish i could say but you know that's not for me to decide you know everybody has their job the voters um and vote who they they think should win mvp Jokic rightly deserved that this year um, you know, right now, in, at this point of the season, all the awards are voted on. Only thing that matters is, uh, you know, getting that big trophy. So uh, we can worry about the individual awards later down my career, but uh, this year, just trying to get that, that championship. But luckily enough, despite their, their issues with the conference finals, especially in the East finals, they made the finals in 2022, but they got stomped on by the former champions in the Golden State Warriors. But this season, looks a bit different because we saw them they got their revenge of the Miami Heat without Jimmy Butler they went ahead and won the Cleveland Cavaliers series I must say this this series was somewhat of a warm-up series because I don't think Donovan Mitchell would have had all the firepower to be able to uh, finish off the Celtics and the Celtics are just the best team and in this game five was actually quite interesting because Donovan Mitchell he didn't play with a left calf strain Karis Lavard, he had a left knee strain, and Jared Allen had a right rib contusion. So you can see, basically, the, the cornerstones of the franchise did not play. Joe, just a thought on, you know, you talk about each series is different, about getting that win in the closeout game, what you liked about your team and your mentality this series, and, and moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, I mean, closeout games are tough. Uh, it's a level of stress, anxiety, desperation. Uh, it takes what it takes. You know, you got to play, you know, 
48, hopefully maybe more at times. And at the end of the day, you just got to keep going and you can't have any expectation. You can't expect to be up by a certain amount. You can't expect to be down by a certain It just doesn't matter. Like, you just got to play. And so I thought the guys focus on the task at hand. Uh, they were very present. Uh, this is how the game is going right now. This is what we're doing well. This is what we're not doing well. Uh, continue to chip away at the things you can control and, uh, you know, figure it out. And I thought the guys did that well. What's up, baby? Um, I just have a question. Y'all, y'all are moving ahead now more than likely against the New York Knicks uh, and then more than likely the round after that either Joker and Murray or Luka and Kyrie. And teams are picking on Al Horford in the pick and roll. What's going to be uh, y'all adjustment to that in these next rounds with more dynamic guards when it comes to scoring and, you know, people just calling Al Horford into the screen and roll every time? Uh, first of all, we don't know who we playing, so you're not going to get me with that. Uh, <laughs> we're going to take it one series at a time. We're not looking past nobody, but you know this defense is a collective effort. we got to be on the same page. Um, and we trust everybody out there, whoever's on the floor. Uh, we play team defense, and then we always talk about individual defense and your pride. So uh, we trust everybody, even Al, especially Al, um, whoever's on the island, uh, to take that pride in knowing you got four guys behind you helping. How have you seen this game evolve this year? I think just the past years, I think it's just more than this, this year. Uh, he's been, like, super aggressive. He's been a leader. Um, it's, just, it's just good to watch him grow, man, like just having a relationship with him when he came in as a rookie. Um, and, you know, just seeing how, how quickly things change. And, you know, it, it's crazy that uh, big fella, he, he reminds me of him a lot, like just seeing him grow, just seeing him grow. And I, I've been a big fan of Ev. Um, for the few years he's been in the league, and I think that he has a really good chance to make that same leap that I've seen Tatum make. And, uh, you know, it's times like this, uh, being able to perform with these type of lights, uh, it allows you allows you to grow in, in, in the off season and coming into the next year, I think that uh, this guy right here is going to be it's going to be a problem. And Jalen Brown, he had one of the most dud games ever I've seen, despite having um, even despite having his poor performance, he was good in with seven assists, but given the fact that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are supposed to be number one to punch, Jason Tatum leading the charge and Jalen Brown also being being able to hold his own, it was actually quite concerning because you would expect a team like the Celtics having uh, the star power that they have to work on all cylinders. Also, Drew Holiday is there and he is very he's a very good defender. And Al Horford. He's a veteran guy. The man is like 38 years old. He's the oldest player. And he had one of the most uh, very uh, spectacular performances. And it brought me back to like the days Al Horford was with the Atlanta Hawks. And he was actually quite good. This series was rather short. And I just saw that it was not going to be that long. I didn't think that this series would even drag even six to seven games. Not, not, not at all. Because in game one, the Celtics came out swinging 102-95 in a blowout win. The Cleveland Cavaliers, they tied the series in game two, 118-94. But ever since then, the Celtics just put the hammer down and they just went ahead and just won the series. They won game three, 106-93, game four, 109-102, and this game five, 113-98. And I feel like there's no stopping the Celtics in the East and they're just wait- the Celtics are just patiently waiting to see the winner of the Knicks and Pacers series. And there's a high likelihood that the Knicks are just going to go past, get past the Pacers. Because I feel like the Pacers, right now they're down 2-3. And the Knicks only need one more win to be able to stop them. The Pacers need two more wins. So a lot can change, especially when it comes to the postseason. Because right as, as per recording of this video... The Timberwolves are forced to have forced a game seven, and the game seven will be in Denver. So, I will also touch on that in the next video. So, Jason Tatum scoring 25 points to lead the Celtics past the Cavaliers 113 98 and into its into and into the third consecutive East Finals for the Celtics. So, Al Horford, he was the man of the hour, and he just savored this moment. And you can even see at the final closing moments in the game he hit that three and he was just uh he just let the fans know that the task was done and they are going to head to the east final so jason tatum had 25 points and 10 boards and boston beat cleveland 113 98 on wednesday night to advance the eastern conference finals for the third straight season 
So you could see the Boston Celtics, they've always been a championship or bust team. So Hal Horford, he had a very spectacular game. He had 22 points, 15 rebounds, 5 assists, and 6 of Boston's 19 three-pointers to help the Celtics uh, post their third consecutive win and wrap up the series in five games. So it was just prime Al Horford. He, he just came out there. So Al Horford, he, was, he said, we had a great opportunity at home to handle this. I knew it was going to take a lot more than handling it normally, so Al Horford said. And Al Horford joined LeBron James and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the only players 37 years old or older to record a 20-point, 15-rebound, high-assist playoff game in NBA history. So he also continued. It's special. It's something that's hard to do. This is another positive step of where we want to get to. So the Celtics will now wait for the, num the, the winner of the matchup between the New York Knicks and the Indiana Pacers. As I said, the New York Knicks, they're up 3-2 on these Indiana Pacers. So New York needs only one game to advance. The Pacers need two. And I don't think this the, I, I don't think this uh, series gets past like the six games because I feel like the New York Knicks, if they just keep uh, focusing on making sure that Jalen Brown gets his touches and gets his his positions right on the court, they're gonna get the series in six games. I actually pick the Knicks to get get past, even if it's gonna get gonna get pushed to seven games. My confidence is the Knicks can be able to close it out in Indiana, not even in, in, in Madison Square Garden. So this will be Jalen Brown's sixth consecutive finals appearance and his fifth for Tatum. So Tatum said it's proof that the team culture is strong. So so Jason Tatum, he also said it's, it just shows the character of the team, the organization. People might think it's a given we're supposed to be here. We are all in together. We are doing something right. So... He came out and said that, and it was actually quite good. The Cleaver, the Cleveland Cavaliers played extremely short-handed in this five, in this game five. All-star Donovan Mitchell, he had a calf strain, Jared Allen, Jared Allen rib strain, and you could see Karis Levert knee strain. So didn't even play. So the Cleveland Cavaliers stay close through the first three quarters and pulled with an 88-85 early in the fourth. Boston went on a 13-2 and two run to take a 101-87 lead with 66, 6.44 to play. So even Mobley scored a playoff career high 33 points and had 7 boards. Marcus Morris Sr. had 5 three-pointers and finished with 25. So coach JB Bickerstaff, the Cleveland Cavaliers coach, I am proud of the effort. He came out and said, this has been a difficult year for us, but for a bunch of reasons, they never found the time to fall on each other. All they did was find ways to compete. So the Cleveland Cavaliers now enter a summer of uncertainty with the future of Donovan Mitchell and Bickerstaff squarely on the spotlight. So Mitchell did everything for the Cavs in his second postseason for Cleveland. He averaged 29.6 points, but didn't play in either of the final two games. So you can see he was sidelined there. The end of Mitchell's tenure in Cleveland could potentially come in the same TD Garden area where James played his last game with the Cavs before leaving for Miami in 2010. So you could see there was a lot of um, there, was, there was a lot of things going on in the, on, in that because there's they were trying to the media were trying to compare like LeBron G, Le James leaving Cleveland and they're trying to compare it with uh, maybe possibly Donald Mitchell leaving Cleveland. So Donald Mitchell is eligible to sign a contract extension but has not given any indication he's eager to stay. Or live in Cleveland so these are just going to be one of those last minute things that you're going to see so JB Bickerstaff is competing is completing his fourth full season as Cleveland's head coach including the 11 games he coached after taking over for Jim for John Berlin during the 2019-2020 season JB Bickerstaff is 170 on 59 with two playoff appearances so JB Bickerstaff his coaching job is on the line and he was asked if he thought he would be coaching the Cleveland Cavaliers next season, J.B. Bickerstaff said, no one told me I am not, so I'll keep showing up until they tell me not to. So you can even see there's um, a bit of speculation as to why uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers can keep this guy, but still, we'll just have to see uh, reports showing that he's got dismissed. The same way we saw Frank Bogo getting fired and Davin Ham getting fired. And those firings didn't even take like that long so much 
like they did in game four without Mitchell. The Cavs used the three point line to keep space, keep pace with the Celtics, making eight out of 19 in the opening 24 minutes. So the Cleveland Cavaliers started the second quarter by connecting on four or five attempts from beyond the arc to nudge uh, 46 40. Uh, nudge ahead 46 40. So the Cavs also uh, got solid minutes off the bench from Morris, who scored 14 points in the first 12 minutes of action. So, but Boston rallied and closed in an 18 and 6 run to make an 80 58 52 lead at the half. So, you can see the Celtics head coach Joe Mazzullo. He also came out and said, It made us answer the bell, guard your yard. The guys did it, it's a credit to them. So, Horford said he's most proud of how Tatum and Brown have been have grown, have been growing, have grown following the last season. Last season Western Conference Finals lost to Miami. And he also came out and said, I'm very proud of our guys of guys continue to put the work in. JT and J B, that's Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, how they've continued to get better. No matter what uh, gets thrown at them, the the way they they are criticized, our guys continue to work and they continue to think that we are the best, they think the best of our group. So that that's the Boston Celtics, and I must say they've had one of the most spectacular runs through the years. Having making three consecutive East Finals is no small feat because looking at the history of this team, the last time they won the championship was two thousand and eight, and every ever since twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen. They've always been knocking at that East Finals. They've been knocking at that East Finals. The door got, uh, got answered in 2022. But you could see the Golden State Warriors were a much uh, well-coached team. I can't say they were the most superior team talent-wise. The Celtics had all the talent. But the coaching and ex experience laid with the Golden State Warriors. And that's why they won the championship in 2022. And finished off the Celtics in six games. But in this case, it looks different because... There's a high likelihood that the Celtics are going to make the finals. I don't foresee this team uh, having any weak spot unless uh, Jalen Brown gets exposed like the way he got exposed last year because a lot of people are skeptical with this guy's dribble. He can't dribble with his left hand and he's he's very he's, it's very difficult to gauge his productivity because on one hand, he can have a very good career night. He can even score like 30 points, 28, 28 30 points. But you can see even in the closeout game where three of the Cleveland Cavaliers stars were not even playing, still he couldn't even find his shot. And he was being uh, he was being guarded and he still couldn't be able to get the job done. So that's a very huge thing that is of concern. And I must say, give credit to Jason Tatum and also Al Horford for just turning back the clock and being the player that he is right now. And that veteran leadership is what the Celtics uh, needed. So... I'm just excited to see the Celtics make the East Finals. So we're just waiting on to see the series between the Knicks and the Pacers, which I'm pretty sure is going to happen either uh, tomorrow morning. Because right now I'm in Nairobi, so those games I just watch them early in the morning. As per recording this video, it's uh, the, the, the Denver Nuggets versus the Minnesota Timberwolves happened early in the morning today. So I'm going to uh, make a video talking about that and just see how people are responding to that uh, brutal beatdown. By the of the Denver Nuggets by at the hands of the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm gonna to to talk about that, but full credit to the Celtics. These guys are the real deal, and these guys are good. And I'm so excited to see uh, the Celtics just keep knocking at that door. You no, know, last year they made the East Finals, but they got beat. Actually, it was so bad because the Celtics got uh, got to the East Finals, and they were matched up against the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat beat them. Three, in three straight games, Miami Heat only needed one game to go ahead and win it. The Celtics went ahead and won the next three games to force a Game 7, but they laid an egg in Game 7, and they were not able to make the finals. And that, and last year, was the road, all roads just showed that the Boston Celtics are going to make the finals and possibly win it. But you could see things didn't happen that way. And the Miami Heat got dealt with the Denver Nuggets in five games in the last year's finals. So hopefully the Celtics just go ahead and make their finals bath and and make a run like they did in 2022, and also just rectify the mistakes that they had in 2022. So depending on who they're going to match up with. So if you guys like the video, make sure you leave your feedback down in the comments. What you think about this? Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.